Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and we are continuing our trek through Mentally Advanced with episodes negative 12 and negative 13. These should be parodies for Suited for Success and Feeling Pinky Keen. The former did have Art of the Dress, and Greg made a song for Winter Wrap Up, so I'm wondering if we'll see something here. Though it is kind of presumptuous to expect a song for a song, those are not easy to do. Also, the episode was about Rarity making dresses for the gala, and I think only Rainbow Dash and Applejack have tickets at this point in Mentally Advanced. I think this series keeps that sort of continuity, so this will be interesting. And the latter, Feeling Pinky Keen, did get some criticism from fans who interpreted it a certain way. I wonder if Greg will approach that notion of science versus faith, which is something that I never really got when watching the episode. Regardless though, the idea of a conflict like this between Greg's Twilight and Greg's Pinkie Pie is pretty exciting. It seems he had really found his footing at this point, so let's see what's in store for us. Alright. Parody number 12. And so she said to me, yeah. they look like they're from the reign of Pontilla the Herzai. Alright. Little did she realize that they were Gossip. specifically modeled after that era. Yeah. So in reality, her little jab was actually something of a compliment. Okay. Oh, Got him. You know how ponies around here can You be. show them, Rarity. I'm so lucky that you moved in. Uh -huh. Aside from myself, you're the only cultured pony in Ponyville. Fashion. I mean, comes from Cloudsdale, but horseflies are all about pillars, oh. columns, and pedophilia. The the what? what? Because of one of their ancient philosophers, that was a oh. scandal at the time among their ponies, and they okay. lived it down. Well, of That's nice to not. know. It's their whole culture. It makes sense if you think about it. I mean, why is Dash so stupid? Yeah. Oh, hey, oh my god. Rarity. Oh. oh, just go to hell. Get out of my shop. <laughs> well, it's just that I came into your shop oh my to ask god. You about getting a dress, I... and you launched into some stupid story. I showed you what I, I had love for sale. Greg's Rarity. Well, do you and want then, And then you started telling me about your other clients. Do you, do you want the hat or not? <laughs> if I wanted a hat, I would have asked for the hat. I've got How like seven in, in the I clearance bin. I order dresses and you're based in a hamlet. It's not a hamlet. Oh. It's a village. You don't, we have stores. <laughs> and you don't even have one of Celestia's churches. It burned oh. down. And your stores it burned down. houses. This is a boutique. It's your Who house. Who burned? And the cakes business is also their house. The church and down. You live in a library. Ponies living in dead trees shouldn't cast stones, Twilight. Oh, right, man. Which only reinforces my point. Why are you still inside <laughs> my shop? I thought I threw <laughs> it's you out. true. I thought that I was the only metropolitan horse in Ponyville. Guess I'll oh, tell everyone in Canterlot that that's not the case. R right. Oh, no. Rarity, no. The only adult she female. wants. You're not that important. Filthy rich. She needs to be buys gowns for his in daughter. the know. What about the mom? She is some kind of harpy. I don't even... Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, just so sell me a dress. We have, have foresight this time. Gala and I need one. <laughs> All right, for a spoiled a rich. Minute. I have to grab my tape. I oh. do a few measurements. They come custom, nice walking. Right? I've got a few requests. Oh, Animation I there. Know where this is going. You want me to do something insane, like sew a star map into your dress, and it has to be accurate. Oh, well, I how'd can you do know? It, but it's going to cost a fortune. Rarity, I am a practical pony. What part of asking you to turn oh. my dress into a star map would be practical? Well, regardless, <laughs> it's going to cost. That's a true. Fortune. It's not like you're just buying off the rack. Orion. So what's your it's constellation. This is bothering me now. How would I navigate the stars if the map were printed on my ass? I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't use it for that. Maybe go Rear view mirrors from the Canterlot Observatory. Offer to let them stargaze, and then they'll be all impressed because, hey, look, oh my... it's accurate. Sort of. No. They'll let a bit pass if they're looking at your butt, okay? <laughs> you would think of that. What coordinates she would. do you use? Is there more than one? Car Cartesian. Maps are 2D, but the real world is 3D, Rarity. There's a lot of trigonometry. All right, it would cost a double Oh, man. Fortune. So you you just blew my mind. There, didn't you, smarty pants? It's not gonna happen, is what I'm getting at. A double fortune is like, what? 4,000 bits? Okay. Ooh, 4,000. Ask again. What? You can buy so many carrots. About going to the gala? I've thought about it, but I oh. wasn't able to get a ticket. They're oh, here we go. 4,000 bits right now. Of course, selling them would be a felony. Twilight. Oh, no. Are you implying uh, that you she... could get me into the oh. gala? <laughs> yeah. Did her hair just hit her eyeball? I could get a ticket mailed straight to your house. It'll have your name on it and everything. That's kind of fantastic. Whatever. I, I thought she was winking. Tickets to Dash and Applejack. Oh, I speak of the you gave devil. Tickets to the gala away to, to this? <laughs> I just did the coolest flip. Yeah. Nice hat, Dash. So, 
on the bright side. If you happen to find a ticket landed in your mailbox, it's oh, not man. you did me any special favors. Twilight's gonna get arrested. commit so a felony. Adventure, <laughs> Twilight. How could you? Dapper Dash. You just actually give me the ticket. There's no way that I'm going to have time to make a dress with four thousand bits. I know. I know. Hey. Just make something worth a couple hundred, and I don't know. Set something up for Dash and AJ. But why <laughs> do I have to work for mine? All right. Because so only. Because is not collateral, and what is Dash gonna trade me? Pinky and Fluttershy. I, mean, I live in a library. I know. That's where I got them from. <laughs> I turn them down. She's got nothing. I was thinking that one of these That's days great. I could sell stuff out of my house like you guys. It's not a yeah, house. Yeah, out of your cloud it's house. A boutique. Yeah, I spent as much money as I had on cashews because I was gonna sell. That's a that's a good investment. Cloud, so the cashews got wet and now they're ruined. Business over. Oh, oh that's too bad. I bad. Think thinking about building bad storage. Here. Maybe I could run this store. It was See, a plan though. They're thinking of starting a McPones. We are not a Hamlet. The licensee is screwed. Is. Is. You know it's just going to be great. built to the train station, right? It great name, great place. Where they build it, a hamlet doesn't have a McPones. Is this the modern <laughs> world we live in? Seriously, where a McPones qualifies as a church and turns your hamlet into a village? Well, if yeah. our god yeah. wasn't a sun god, maybe her church wouldn't have burned down. I'm going to make a million <laughs> bits running McPones. A lot of magnifying glass action. Bolt, and then I'm just going to make myself a wonderbolt directly. To be a McPones That's how it works. You need at least 800,000 bits saved up in the bank. Fifty thousand to pay for the yeah, rights. Yeah, no and problem. Ten of your profits go to corporate. Who in pony I have that in my back pocket. That? Filthy rich. The same pony that owns the train station. Oh. Right. Oh, that makes sense. You know he owns the lease on Applejack's farm. So anyway. Oh. About these that might come back to. I want mine to be aerodynamic. To bite someone. Wings, just like me. You're ordering a dress. Four wings. It's supposed to be flowing. Yeah. Pretty. But that's going to have a lot of drag. This is going to be like <laughs> designing clothes for three-year-olds, isn't it? Are you a professional? Pretty or much. Make your stupid dress. Put on Man. Like a, a cone on the front to deflect the air. <laughs> Rarity, just make the dresses without our input. Thank so you. So she's going supersonic. You know, this is the environment that all professional artists should be working under. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who needs input from fans, from the community supporting you? That just ruins everything. Am I right? All right. Great stuff. All right, if we're just going into the uh, extended oh, text here, I will cut to the next episode. You guys can read this on your own time because I, I will not make it through this in time before the, before the scene transitions here. All right, 13. All right. Pinky Keen. This is one of my favorites for season one. Caffeine today, Dingles. That's a nice animation. Oh, no, no. Yes. Pinky is the psychopotamus. Okay. <laughs> well, you do that. Did she say psychopotamus? It comes. Because sure that's does. really good. Not escape from this guy oh. She's doing a. Yes. What comes? The thing. A prophet. What? Or Undertaker. No, I. The prophecy <laughs> has passed. Has foretold. Eyeball yeah, action there. Put a plant to fall on me. <laughs> Pinky is innocent. Her mind sees the truth. I really Pinky like. Spikes the truth. Kneel before Pinky. That she would go over and tell Pinky. What oh. do I like do? Oh, Surgically man. Narrow your breathing passages, you pink oh. asshole. Oh I'm man. Slightly less sexy than Pinky Hopped. Yeah, that is. Hit me with a plant. Pinky torturous. Your future. Well, I'm predicting your future, and it's full of scalpels. Oh man. Oh Sounds no. Like you got a little taste of the she also read did cupcakes. You guys? Pinky predicted the future and then Twilight performs the threat. Violence is the only way <laughs> she's gonna learn. Oh no, her predictions are real. You know. Now. So are mine. That may be it's true. Self fulfilling prophecies. Oh no. Pinky I have a lot of those. Yes, it comes again. I'll tremble in despair. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Not this time. You oh. <laughs> See? You can't get away from him. You try to get away and it just comes true. That spinning has come to backwards walk. What the heck? What kind of soothsayer only sees potted plants flying into her friend's heads? <laughs> Pinky's gift is that was impressive. as it is abundant. Yes. She's never done All this right. before. Well, she has, That's true. actually. But last time was before you came to Ponyville. All it's right. Usually after she's had a whole buttload of coffee. Pinky must remain vigilant. Oh. The government spies upon her dreams. It's like oh, yeah. that How Futurama episode. After Pinky has been up all night prowling all over the place, she can suddenly predict the trajectory of flying shrubbery. <laughs> yeah, that's... Sometimes Pinky predicts buildings falling down. That's what Sometimes happens to me. After all-nighters. ...on some sunflower seeds and 
Sure enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, she her chest. Full of crap. When she laughed. You don't believe it? Heaving up and down. What That's a really nice... Psychic makes a any, psychopotamus! Makes any <laughs> sense. Why does that not make sense? Well, here y'all are, the literal element of magic in the flesh, questioning as that, to whether or not Pinky has magical psychiatry powers. That, yes, that is well. Pinky has a degree. Psychiatry. I'm questioning if uh, she has okay. powers. Yes, yes, you are. You just said to my face that psychiatry is full of crap. I'm saying she <laughs> doesn't have powers. Then how does she see are the future, Twilight? From analyzing dreams, it's your basic Making some commentary it's here. True. And AJ has deep-seated issues with her parents. Mr. Hoffman. Yes, she is caught by devoting herself to apples to replace their absence. Oh, no. Now let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, we're digging head. into yeah. AJ's... She replaces the apples with apples. Mom and Dad. Harm to live. I don't really appreciate this psychic analysis, Pinky, your degree aside. How oh, man. Education? Yes. Where do you find <laughs> the time... Where would she find the time <laughs> to study and keep up with the field? Who am I she conversing with? Every day to nothing. And you fill the void of your life with books. Yes, because it's you better than nothing. Filling for the void. The yeah. True filling is C custard filling. What is the purpose of life? Hard work. I oh no! To finish that thought. We broke Pinky. Fill the void with alcohol and the distant belief that I have some kind of destiny that will work everything out. If the void has walls, maybe you the and of the void occupy physical space. Millions. So if you put a void inside a void, the second void is scrunched. Really, Twy? Voidception. With destiny. Well, I don't mean destiny so much as a mathematical sort of fate. Yeah, that's what I said. Destiny. No, I mean, like, right. if you hit a ball, the ball moves. So everything depends on everything else if something is going to land somewhere. Right. Because something ends on that thing to put it there. Well, generally, Twilight, that's something Cause that and effect. Pieces is your own willingness to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. By the bootstraps. Is controlled by hormones and chemistry. And the desire to fill Oh, the man. Brain. Yes. You are not <laughs> a psychiatrist. We did it. Pinky is a psychopotamus. Well, we brought her back. back the future. There's no sense in trying to apply the scientific method. Who's applying the scientific method? I'm not. I'm just <laughs> being skeptical. You're trying to observe an intangible reality. You always do this, Twilight, and it's always wrong. Applejack. If it's real, you just got to accept I love this Applejack. What? Then you are living like Pinky. Yes. Delusional and insane. No. Y yep. Yes. Yep. Applejack, <laughs> traitor. Living by your own rules. I just <laughs> Traitor. Think it seems like something Pinky would do, going out of her way to set up an elaborate hoax so she can pretend to be psychic for attention. You know, Pinky can see. That makes some sense. He's enormous. Oh, great! You're gonna bash me in. The oh no! Real hilarious. Oh, uh, uh I see a shadow <laughs> forming. Going to the hospital. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> Is that our um, our Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference for today? <laughs> Cause that's okay. All right, that's an ending. That is an ending. That was I like that one a lot. That was really good. Okay, all right, and now we're a lot of explanations here. Let's broach that later. Cause there's just too much right now. All this white text in my face. Let's jump to the outro. All right, those were mentally advanced, negative twelve, and negative thirteen. The first was simple, but the writing was strong, giving an entertaining spotlight to this rarity. Between her desire to be taken seriously on a societal level, and her casual racism. And now we have four ponies who can go to the gala. We need a ticket for Pinky still, and Fluttershy will probably be ignored. I really enjoyed the Pinky Keen parody. The comedy hit well, and the animation was dynamic. Twilight's reaction, the idea that Pinky set up all these traps, was perfect. And the whale made for a great ending, especially after all the talk of pondering the meaning of life. There was a lot of movement. Greg pointed out in the end that he changed up his process for this one, setting up a sequence of keyframes, establishing character positions throughout the scene, and then filling in the gaps afterward. I think this worked well, giving us more activity from the characters but it still allowed for a lot of nuance, giving us subtlety with the expressions and with the slight body movements. Greg's experience and his progress continues to build, and I'm excited to see where it'll take the series. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, remember, I'd far rather be happy than right any day.